It's great that you can now access OpenAI's reasoning model for free via Microsoft Copilot. So if you go into the standard version, the free version of Copilot, just with your regular Microsoft login, you'll see this new symbol here in the prompt bar. And you'll see it says, think deeper when responding. So if I click on that, that will enable this particular prompt. So this can be used for maths, computational queries, advanced coding queries, reasoning, logic, anything like that. But also in the world of marketing, it can be used to create a customer avatar. So customer avatar, sometimes known as a marketing persona, very important in the realm of marketing. So it helps you craft your services, your website, your shop premises, if you have a, a high street presence. And all your marketing, basically everything around your product and services and its interface with your client. So very important to know who your typical or your ideal client is. And the reasoning model can do that for you. Now, this is often a neglected part of marketing. So um, do hope that you'll uh, embrace this now that it is so much easier to create your customer avatar. So if we go on to uh, another tab here, you'll see that I've already set this up. We've got a, a prompt here. Now, the reason I've set this up this time rather than running it live is that it can take about 30 seconds to, um, uh, to work. Uh, so this is all ready for us here. So my prompt is create a customer avatar for a small e-commerce business selling handmade jewelry so you could be you could name any kind of like uh, business in here so put in your own business details and then explain what you do a little bit so I've said they provide a range of rings necklaces chains and earrings as well as providing bespoke orders via commission so if you've got like a, a USP or something particular about your business you could add that in there and then in response we've got a very detailed customer avatar so we've got Customer avatar, the sophisticated seeker. We've got Maya Patel, demographic details here, more details around demographics and lifestyle underneath here. So, this kind of information is useful. The fact that she's tech savvy and active on social media, especially Instagram and Pinterest. So, that gives you a bit of a clue as to what channels you might want to promote your business on, in this case, the uh, jewelry uh, business. Uh, and uh, lots of other clues here, lots of really useful. Uh, information so drawn to brand brands for example that have a genuine story and transparent creation process so we've got a whole section here behaviors and preferences so again with your marketing materials so perhaps website social media newsletter you could actually explain the story of your business and if we were talking about this uh, jewellery business here. And similarly, like bespoke experiences, so that's good in terms of the custom-made jewellery. Blogs, so that's a good clue. So you could have a blog section on the website. Also, some content ideas here, behind-the-scenes videos. And again, journeys, stories, storytelling is going to be good. And in terms of getting out there and showcasing your business, some ideas here, art fairs, workshops, and particularly worth noting to flag that you are an independent jewellery maker. Uh, some pain points that you could address, so keep things simple because you can be overwhelmed by choices, likes connections, so again from the marketing and particularly social media aspect, newsletter aspect, you want to build some personalization into there, and time constraints, balancing freelance projects with personal passion, wants an ex efficient experience. So that means the website has to be very easy to use and understandable. Lots more about motivations here, uh, communication preferences, some of this we've mentioned around the storytelling, personalization, social engagement. So interactive content is going to work well. We've had the channels, we've pretty much named those there. Collaborations, that's a really good idea because she likes the artisan independent side of things. This business could collaborate with other similar businesses and some brand positioning ideas there, even some additional insights and ideas, hosting virtual workshops, live streams, use generated content, so all, all great stuff. You wanted to take this further, of course, which is a great thing with AI, you can continue the conversation. So we have some further suggestions here, but I'm going to put in something uh, a little bit different, expand on what we've got at the top here and then perhaps say, um, can, can you 
let's just get that right. Can you suggest some specific phrases to use in, or say use on social media and in marketing materials? So that would just sort of help us fine tune the, uh, the content a little bit. So uh, we um, are just going to have to go through the, uh, the Think uh, Deeper uh, mode here. So that is the symbol that uh, comes up when the AI is uh, reasoning, doing its, uh, doing its job. So hopefully uh, any second we will have the answer. But this, was, this is good to demonstrate the fact that you can continue the conversation, enhance your answer and get more information. So here we go. So um, lots of stuff that sort of ties in with what we were looking at before. So wear a story, not just a piece. That's good. Handcrafted elegance, uniquely yours. Jewelry with a soul crafted just for you. From art from artisan hands to, to yours and so on. Lots and lots of uh, phrases here, all under different headings. So really some great stuff to you could use in social media, newsletter, and indeed on the uh, on the website and even some calls to action, although I didn't specifically ask for those, really great to uh, to have that. And I like these uh, detailed, more extended call to action here and even more uh, additional ideas including um, hashtags there, some ideas, but you can do this all free on Microsoft Copilot.